Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to look at sequence settings and specifically the video resolution. So you can see on this little video graphic that uh, there's multiple sizes, just like a canvas of um, like an artist can be a different size. You can have a little tiny canvas or you can have a huge canvas. There's different sizes of resolution when it comes to video. We shoot 1080 by 1920 and what that means is pixels. So 1080 pixels up and 1920 across. Sometimes what happens is your sequence accidentally or because of the, the footage that you introduce into the software is 720 by 1280 or even smaller. And what we do there is then have to stretch it out to become 1920 by 1080 and it pixelates and it looks bad quality. So, I'll give you an example of this and I'll show you how to fix it. So in Premiere, the easiest way to see what your sequence settings are, note the stash, look at that thing, um, is when you find your sequence, and again, the sequence right here, it's when you have a, um, to find your sequence, your sequence is going to be this icon. So inside of video, you see how this is audio, this, this marks that it's an audio, this marks that it's video with audio. This little, this little thing right here that looks like a mini timeline is your timeline. To see if you're in the right settings, you right click on it, so, and you go to properties. So right now, we're in 1920 by 1080. So that's good. If you ever are not in that, you can go down to this new item, click that, create a new sequence, and when you're creating a new sequence, you can see that there's a whole bunch of complicated things here, but we work with digital SLR cameras, and we're not 480 or 720, we're 1080, and third, uh, 24, or 25 or 30 frames per second. I, I, you should pick 30 frames per second. We have uh, European cameras, so they're, they operate in 25, but pick 30 frames per second, hit OK, and that's gonna create your new sequence, and that's gonna be all set. So, we have our sequence here, but what happens is sometimes when you have a, a new sequence or you drag clips into your timeline, what you get is I'm going to show you what can happen. So all of a sudden, this is just hypothetically, say we we have a standard sequence right here. You can see that it's square. Having a square is a red flag. Um, I take my video and I drag it in. It's going to ask you, do you want to change these sequence settings to match that clip right there? Now, if it's something that you took with the cameras, which was 1080p, we're gonna say change sequence settings, okay? So now, this sequence right here is going to be, it's gonna match our, sequ our, our video. So 1080p by uh, uh, 1920 by 1080. What happens here, I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna do it again. So the, if, it's, if it's standard right here and you drag it in and then you say keep existing settings, look what happened, ah uh, crap, now it's, it's not, it's uh, using that 1080 uh, video inside of a smaller, a much smaller screen, okay? So, when you're first creating your sequence, and you dra if you drag in one of your clips that you know is 1080p, and you say change sequence settings, then you're gonna be all set. In any case, if you can go to your sequence, you can, go to uh, properties and see that. You can also right click and go to sequence settings. And this looks all really complicated, but you can also put in right here, you can change that. So say it was at 720 by 1280, right? Say, say it was that. Okay, so you can go in here right click sequence settings and change it to what you actually need it to be 1920 by 
1080, okay? So this is going to apply to a couple things. You might be using 4K footage for some stuff. You might download some B-roll at 720, okay? So you just gotta make sure that your sequence setting is right click properties. Make sure that that is 1920 by 1080 right there. Um, it makes sure that it is um, 30 frames per second. I filmed this, this is a different thing for a different project. Um, it's 30 frames per second. Um, 24, 25, or 30 frames per second um, in that zone, not 60 frames per second. Uh, and that's going to be your sequence settings. Now the last thing too, when you file, when you file export, when you export your video, export media, this is where people, some people are getting caught up. You need to make sure that you're doing the right uh, settings. So it's format H.264 and you're going to match the source high bitrate. Okay. This output right here should say 1920 by 1080. What's happening is some people are doing like ABI and some, and some kind of crazy stuff right here. And what's, uh, what's happening is this is changing to be something that's not 1080, 1920 by 1080. So your sequence settings, it's 1,900 uh, pixels uh, horizontal, 1,080 pi uh, pixels vertical, okay?